hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello and welcome to my channel today we'll be painting another animal portrait and i chose an eagle and i love painting eagles because i can only uh stress about a few colors i'm not gonna stress about um a lot of different colors that may not be familiar to most people so today we will only be using four to five colors it depends if I'll be using the orange color but basically we have four colors and these are cadmium or mid yellow um, brown or burnt sienna black and titanium white the orange color um, I'm thinking if I'll be using it later but um, I'm just having it right uh, by my side so that when I decide to use it it's you know easily accessible and I'll be linking in the description box below the reference image for this painting tutorial as always so let's begin now the background for our painting is black but we will do the background last uh, I think that would be the last part we won't be doing the background um, as the underpainting because the colors actually or the subject mainly occupies the canvas so we don't have to waste our paint doing the underpainting or uh, backgrounding uh, our canvas with some black color so let's begin now. I'm gonna sketch first the subject okay so for the sketch part actually I'm gonna use a thicker brush so for the sketch part I'm just gonna use okay I'm gonna use my black Mm, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use my black since this is also our background color. Let's begin now. Quite excited to do this one. So just color first this area. Right, I'm sketching it really um, like loosely. I'm gonna add tiny bit of burnt sienna in. Oops, I'm gonna add tiny bit of burnt sienna in my sketch. So I'm mixing black and brown together, but I'm allowing as well the brown color to kind of show through the sketch. So I'm just alternately using brown and black. like that so that will be the body of my eagle we're painting an American bald eagle because I really like American bald eagle they're just uh, uh, majestic and they look nice right again I'm combining or alternately using brown and black colors all right now we're going to get our gray color so using our black I'm gonna add white to that okay maybe this gray the brown color I don't mind it mixing with the black and white it's just only a few amount or in a small amount I mean okay just get your gray color and mix it with black until you reach this color or until you get this color this gray color and I'm gonna use that to sketch my or to sketch the head of our eagle even if we're just in the sketching part um, we should already um, identify the underpainting for our subject Okay. 
So just paint it this way. Okay, I'm gonna use another brush to sketch the beak of my eagle. I'm gonna get my yellow, mix it with brown, all right? Tiny bit of white. Again, yellow and brown. Let's sketch the beak. gonna color it this way I'm only using the reference image to guide me where things are gonna go and what color I should use um, for certain areas. You can have a different looking eagle, but just make sure that the general look of the eagle is there. I might thicken the hair, but later. Let's go back to doing the hairs. I'll just use my whole canvas for sketching so that I really get to proportion this properly. So I'm extending it right there. Before we do some detailing,
Okay, I'm gonna get my black. All right, like that. Okay. And I'm gonna go and extend the feathers. I was about to say fur. <laughs> the feathers. <laughs> I'm gonna darken this area because it's not really receiving too much light. When we do the background, we will be um, defining the feathers even more. I'm gonna get my black. And of course, I might do some corrections. All right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna darken some areas now to give it some dimension. All right, like that. I also have here beside me my palette knife because I will be using the palette knife to create more details on the feathers. Again, not fur, but the feathers. I almost said that again. And I'm just gonna darken, extend it even further here. Okay, like that. <laughs> All right. Before we do the eyes, uh, I think we can do the background now while waiting for everything else to dry. So I'm just gonna get my black. And as I told you at the beginning of my video, I told you guys that we won't be doing the background first or ahead of the main subject simply because the subject occupies a lot of space more than the background uh, so it wouldn't be a waste of paints for all of us if you're using a canvas that is um, already black then you don't have a problem with this one but I'm using a white canvas paper that's why uh, I need to paint my background black. So you can use this time to um, maximize your waiting period. Uh, you know, while waiting for the paints to dry, you can use this time to do the background. Also here, I need to define my feathers.
Okay. I'm gonna wash my brush out. And let's do the eye. Okay, let's do the eye. I'm gonna use my yellow and brown mixture. The one that we use here to outline the eye. Okay, it's too white. I'm gonna try. All right, like that. Okay. I'm going to color the inside with some light yellow. Okay, wash your brush out. And then, I think I will make the feather really, really like bigger, bigger than this one. It looks kind of like an owl, but no, we're painting an eagle. So later, I'm gonna get my black. I'm gonna go ahead and do the, make a circle right here in the middle. Right like that. And then again, using the same color, black, go around the yellow color. like that okay and I'm gonna wait for that to dry let's proceed to the feathers again before we do some highlights so I'm gonna use my pure white okay and I'm gonna apply that on the feathers definitely extending those feathers Again, just pure white. I think we will be layering a lot today using white because I love, um, I love layering to emphasize the highlight. Okay, I'm gonna go this way on the face. near the mouth
I'm thinking if I'm gonna correct the beak. So I'm gonna use my small brush. Okay, I'm gonna use my, my square brush, I mean. And I'm going to extend the beak. Yeah, I'm going to make some corrections like that okay I just corrected it guys this is much better like that And using some dark brown, okay. I just outlined it. Okay, like that. I'm gonna get my yellow and just cover that area. So I'm tapping on some light yellow colors around the the upper uh, upper part of the beak. And I'm just going to color those spaces that I don't have, I haven't filled in with colors. I'm going to make this quite browny. All right. Okay, now we go to the feathers. I think this is the most challenging part, the feathers. So I'm going to get my light brown. So I'm mixing my brown and yellow and then white. Okay, more brown. Tiny bit of black. Okay, I think this is it. So this color, guys. I'm going to use this to create those patterns on the feathers. So... I'm just creating some they're like highlights so the feathers um, but defining the feathers as well so it's like two in one like that okay I'm gonna go this way
Okay, like that. And then we're going to get some black. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. And using this black, I'm gonna go around certain areas. Alright, now using my burnt sienna, going to go again on certain areas. making some areas quite browny okay I'm gonna get my white and lighten the browns Like that. Okay, wash your brush up. Okay, let's go back to doing the feathers because we will be doing a lot of layering as I already mentioned on the feathers. Okay, I'm gonna mix my yellow with white and again just lighten this area. Okay, I'm gonna get my white. Let's create some details on the mouth on the bee.
I'm doing some short brush strokes to give more volume to the feathers. These are short brush strokes. Alright, now I'm going to uh, make some gray. Okay. All right, now I'm going to use my palette knife, all right? I'm looking at the image. And then I'm going to use my palette knife now. I'm going to dab onto my white, so just pure white, okay? Let's try to create more texture. I'm going to use my palette knife. Okay, now I'm gonna use my palette knife, but this time I'll be using some gray. Okay, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna try to apply it in the same manner as what I did with the white.
going to delete that. All right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my pure white and I'm just gonna make a little dot right there. And I'm gonna dry brush inside the eye. Okay, I just had <clears throat> to drink water because my my throat is itching. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay, now let me highlight the <clears throat> the B. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my burnt sienna. Plus brown and black. And let's make this, okay, I'm gonna add more black. Okay, more black. Okay, like that. And then using a pointy brush, I'm just gonna make some detailing right here. Okay, like that. So I'm gonna use my white again. Let's go back to the feathers. Let's just soften those feathers. I'm just gonna um, okay like that
can using gray just let's let's make some more depth okay I'm gonna add more detailing on the feathers of the or the yeah the body's feathers the body's feathers <laughs> yeah because these are the facial feathers or the head <laughs> and these are the body feathers let's just call them those ways because I don't want to confuse you. Hey, oh my gosh, this is so nice. So nice, so nice, okay. I'm going to get my black. Okay, I'm gonna add some depth. Okay, like that. Again, using black, but somehow watered down. I'm just gonna darken this part of the eye. Okay, try to glaze it with them with some dark color. Okay, it's too much. Like that. I'm gonna get my white. Okay, like that. And using black, I'm just gonna fix the eye because I kind of overglaze it. Okay. I'm gonna get my yellow and burnt sienna. It's really more brown. Okay, like that.
me check. This is very nice. I'm gonna add some hints of brown, very small hints of brown on the feathers. Don't do it too much. There's not so much brown here. Only hints like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my yellow. I'm going to highlight the top portion of the beak. All right, like that. And using black, I'm just gonna redefine the beak. I just got more white. We're going to highlight this area. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I didn't expect this <laughs> again. <laughs> 
sometimes you know I just don't expect too much from my own painting I just do whatever it is that needs to be done and it turns out to be really really nice oh my gosh As I told you guys, we'll be layering so much on the fur. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> on the feather. On the feathers of this eagle. True enough. Um, yeah. Because when we layer, we give it more volume. And since we're doing a close-up uh, subject, we might as well really focus on giving it or giving the feathers more volume. I really like this one, guys. I just love this one. So I'm gonna dry brush on the beak. Also here. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of gray. wow wow this is so nice guys i'm oh my gosh i couldn't believe it that i just did that i'm gonna sign this now and i'm gonna use the right side of my canvas paper for my signature i'm just gonna use white okay i'm gonna sign right here I can actually remove the tape now. I taped it because it's moving when I'm painting. It's just a simple taping. It doesn't give me a lot of margins. But to fix that, I'm just going to use my black to remove that un unpainted portion. That's it. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And I think we're done, guys. We're done, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed this one. It was quite um, challenging for me as well. I don't know if you noticed that I was kind of struggling a bit because I kept on layering and layering, but it turned out really nice. So, yeah, this is the tape. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this eagle painting. I'll be linking in the description box below my other, uh, other eagle painting. I think I, I already did one before like a year ago so i'll be linking that below so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video see you in my next video guys bye